So the first thing I do when I start boiling my meat, I throw all my meat in there. Um, I peel a couple ajos, the garlics. So I usually like seven of them. I have a couple right here. So I'm gonna throw all these in. And then I have about three, three hojas de laurel. Um, these are bay leaves. And then a whole cebolla. Okay, that one can cut that off. So I'll cut that off. Um, and then I also put some salt in there. So the salt, I usually put quite a bit. You can put to your liking um, or put just a little bit now and then more later. So just to show you guys, so this is about guys, how much. This is how your meat should look. We're gonna toast some sesame seeds. Hey guys, so today I'm going to make tacos de birria, yay! Um, our friends are in town. Jenny, where you at girl? Mira, ya está Jenny. All right guys, so we're going to make... <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and make some tacos de birria. Um, I already have my meat shredded right here. Um, I shred my meat and then I'm gonna throw it in um, the jugo to make the consomme. So I make my own consomme. This is just the um, juice that the meat had already cooked in. So to make to make your um, consomme, what you're gonna do is you wanna use cinnamon. I usually use like two or three fingers. That's usually how I measure it. So I'm gonna throw that in. And then you're gonna use like four uh, bay leaves, so no has a laurel. And then probably about, I'm using six, seven. So seven to eight garlic cloves, or chocos. And then I'm gonna use um, whole cumin. All this right here is gonna be whole cumin. I use whole pepper and then the clavos. So I'm just gonna throw that all in here. I don't really measure it. Um, I'll put a picture um, and you can kind of guess how much you wanna put. So I'm gonna put that all in there. And then I also use thyme. So just some ground thyme. And I don't measure it either. I never measure nothing. So that's my recipe. So I just kind of tanteable right there. I put how much ever I think will be good. And then I also put some vinegar. I don't measure, but I'm gonna kind of show you guys. Más o menos cuánto. So probably do about one fourth of a cup of vinegar is what I do. So you throw that in there. And then all your chiles that we boiled. So I have them all in here. This is, a, I've had this oil forever. Probably like 12 years. <laughs> So I'm just gonna throw it in there with all the juice. Um, I also toasted some sesame seeds and I already have them in there on the bottom. I'm just gonna throw them all in there. So you have all your chiles there. And then you're gonna use some juice. Um, the la carne that you had made already. So I'm just gonna fill up a cup. So I just did like a whole cup. I'll probably do like two cups. That way it can have all the flavor of the meat. Sorry, I'm giving you guys like a close up. Okay, give me a second. I put my camera down. Okay, so here's my second cup. I'm gonna go ahead and run that. Okay, so that's all I do. Um, let me just make sure I didn't miss any. So I have the clavos right here, the comino entero, so whole cumin, um, canela, which is the cinnamon sticks, um, the sesame seeds, and then um, los, uh, the bay leaves, so hojas de laurel. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this, and then I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna 
I'm gonna put my meat in my pot and then throw this in there, okay? I'll be back. All right, guys, so it's time for us to start making the beef, yeah? I'm gonna go ahead and throw all my beef that I already shredded back in my pot. Okay. This is what your hookah should look like for your consomme. So I'm sure you use my colander to, to put this in. Let's see, let me turn my camera a bit. Maybe you guys can see. So see. I'm just gonna keep going. How oh, your meat should look, you know. guys so here's the final product i'm going to show you guys um the last steps in making your tacos de birria I like them to get really crispy. Look at that. If they're messy, cool. The messier, the better. Okay, now they're getting ready to be served. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Bomb. That's my husband in the background. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making my tacos. Um, I like to put cilantro in them. You can put it in them or on top. Um, it's up to you guys. I put some cilantro, cebolla. I le pongo de todo. All right, guys. I also have my consomme here. Super yummy. Um, you can have it just like that, or le pueden poner um, cilantro and some cebolla inside, and then you can squeeze some lime in there. It'd be bomb. Oh, and I have my salsa too. I need to get out. I'm gonna get one of the other buckles off really quick. And then I'll show you guys how they came out. They're gonna be yummy. So I have my salsa here that I made. Okay, nothing beats homemade. I mean, you can go and buy these, but when you make them and you put the love into your cooking, um, people can taste that. For one, one of my biggest things, um, I always tell my husband, I'm like, I cooked it with love. And he's like, that's so dumb. And I'm like, I'm serious, I cooked it with love. And for me, it is true. I cook with love, I love to cook. And um, I hope that you guys enjoy. And make sure to cook with love. Para que les salgan bien. So, I have my salsa here that I made. I um, have another video on that. So you guys can go ahead and check out that video también. It's really good so I like to put some salsa inside of them inside of my tacos all right guys and then you know what even though it's in the juice already I'm just gonna put some in here why not so look at that look at how good that looks Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in my consomme. Look at that. It'd be yummy.
This is so good. These are going to be messy. This is not for a first date. Don't cook this for your man when you're barely dating. Or don't cook this for your girl when you're first dating. Unless you don't care. Like me. This is so good. Alright guys. That's my recipe. I hope you guys try it out. Let me know how it comes out. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Um, if you make a birria, how do you make um, your consomme? I love my consomme. Um, it's really, really good. So go ahead, let me know, comment, enjoy.